being cold-blooded, they have yet to warm up and are still sluggish. She, however, is warm-blooded and fast-moving 24 hours a day. This is one of the mammal's ancient advantages. And she is agile enough to catch even flying insects. This is the largest species of ant ever. They are on the lookout for prey, any creature that can't get away in time. This is a world where birds eat horses. At night, a whole different cast of animals comes down to the water's edge. The Ambulocetus' killing technique is simple. His vice-like jaws hold the struggling prey until it drowns. An earth tremor. These are common here. The gas at the bottom of the lake is suddenly shaken free, suffocating every animal in its path. Once more, the Ambulocetus is lying in her path, but she instinctively knows he is dead. But there are now awesome new monsters of the deep. Bad news for the exhausted turtle struggling back to the water after a night laying eggs. His huge one meter long jaws are designed to crush anything, so the turtle's main defense is of little use. During droughts, scavengers often do well, but in there are sharks and crocodiles to worry about. And now there is a whale as well. Today, their nightmare came true. It was a shark. This year, though, some herds are in a sorry state. This should be a time for calving, but a high proportion are being stillborn. In the course of the next few days, the Basilosaurus returns time after time. This is what it means to be top of the food chain. Hyenodon's jaws have a bone-shattering force of over 1,000 pounds per square inch. They are capable of eating everything on a carcass, even the teeth. attempt to hide the smell of the carcass, the hyenodon defecates on it. But it will take more than that to put off the entelodonts. The hogs from hell have won the prize. An anxious mother is forced to dig to find her cubs. She finds only one, and it is already dead. These unique creatures are reacting to the death of one of their group with what can only be described as grief. Beside her body, her three-year-old orphan. Meat. Out on the savanna, carrion is quick to attract scavengers. The cats close in. Macrochenia have outstanding maneuverability. But that's why Smilodon hunt in groups. A second cat brings her down. First, they work together to pin down the struggling animal. Only when the prey is totally subdued are the famous sabers drawn. That is not the only signal they have left. With the death of his cubs, 
His last tie with the group has been severed. They might be herbivores, but they will occasionally go for carrion to supplement their diet. And when they do, nothing gets in their way. The rest of the Smilodon quickly abandon the kill to the giant. The brother is defeated and fatally injured. Unlike Half-Tooth, this cat will get no second chance. Conditions for all life become extremely hazardous, even for the mighty mammoths. But the herd do not leave their stranded sister. They stay nearby. It could take days for the female to die, and the herd cannot afford to wait. They must keep moving to escape the coming Ice Age winter. Megaloceros are a giant form of deer, and the males sport a most impressive set of antlers. They use not strength, but strategy, pushing the Megaloceros into the trees where their antlers prevent escape. Across the landscape, other mammoths are making the same journey. This is... There are lions in his way, feasting on a straggler, in this case, not a mammoth calf, but a human. The Neanderthals descend to the bottom of the cliff to butcher their kills. One of the mammoths is still alive. One day, they'll look back on all this.